I was born into a first-generation Greek immigrant family. I should mention that Roy Vagelis was also born into a first-generation Greek immigrant family. And when my dad heard that I was going to be a scientist, and he said, well, if you're going to become a scientist, at least become like this scientist. Dr. Vagelos has been, I think, my primary mentor throughout my career. I certainly sort of see him as someone I look up to and have learned a lot from. He taught me how to do the right thing always, no matter what the cost. He taught me how to put others first, and importantly, he taught me ultimately that business is really about people. He's inspired many of the scientists that he respected. He started out training as a doctor, but then he became very interested in science and he went to the NIH and turned himself into one of the world's best biochemists. He went on to Washington University to have the Department of Biochemistry. And then he came to Merck, and I think Merck was the great melding of those two experiences. So he had the research background at the NIH, and then of course he had the medical school background. And in coming to Merck, of course, what this company tries to do is to translate cutting edge science into medicines that make a contribution to humanity. So I thought about a new strategy for drug discovery would be to select molecules that might be involved in disease and design chemicals knowing what the target would be. That type of approach led to the discovery, development, and approval of the first approved statin for lowering LDL cholesterol, which is one of the biggest and most important drug classes that the pharmaceutical industry has actually come up with. One of the greatest contributions Merck made, all because of Roy, was the gift of ivermectin to combat yellow river blindness. There were 18 million people who were losing their sight. Over 100 million people were at risk. I believe that a single pill could actually control this parasite for a year. What was really important was Dr. Vagelos' path-breaking decision to donate that drug for as long as it was needed, wherever it was needed. They wiped out this horrific disease. This was all entirely a philanthropic effort. It was just because this was the right thing to do. In many ways, what Roy brought to this company was very high standards of scientific excellence combined with an ethos that that science had to always be put in the service of humanity. He's gone on to chair the board of Regeneron. Roy continues to be our guiding light. We really tried to emulate what Roy did at Merck and what Roy taught us here, which was to use science and technology to discover targets and then develop therapeutics against these targets. And I think the success of Regeneron also shows that Roy's success at Merck was not a fluke. It shows that great scientific leadership along with great scientists can create great things for humanity. Seeing Roy's example has inspired me to be able to take some of my work and try to impact medical practice. And what I've been doing here is mapping brain circuits comprehensively in the mouse. The brain does what it does because it's connected in a particular way and forms a electrical circuit. Serendipitously, it turned out that the histological pipeline we developed might be a good way to automatically process tissues for doing cancer biopsies. I think that's what got Roy interested, that this could perhaps reduce costs, improve the practice in this area. He has impacted so many people's lives. It's just all very inspiring. There are only a handful of people I've met like Roy, people who just understand how to make an impact, how to make a difference, how to transform lives, and very importantly, how to reach down and help others. And that's what he did for me. His belief in me changed my perception of what was possible. All anybody wishes is to just in some way emulate and, and, and live up to his example.